All right, so we are here, Esports Arena in Santa Ana, California. Tyler Endres, uh, CEO and co-founder. We got ourselves a box. Now, the other day, if you recall, I received this box and apparently I didn't know what embargo meant. So after I Google searched it, uh, I realized I wasn't allowed to open this box until a certain date. That date is today. Actually, it was yesterday, but we had Series E, humble brag, humble drop in there. But we're gonna open this box. Get this guy out. Okay. That's the Xbox Series X, one terabyte SSD. I already see 4K, 120 frames per second, but uh, there you go. That's the Xbox Series X box. All right, now we've taken a look at the box. Let's actually see what's inside. Do I need my reason for this? No, see, I like this now. Everyone's doing this thing now where you just pull it off. That's way better. I just actually did my phone the other day. I opened my phone like this. When you your phone, it came with this stuff. It's like, and it's cool because it doesn't rip off the cardboard itself, like the image. So there's that one. There's another one right here. That's pretty cool. That's a good size. That's, that's pretty neat. The box is pretty cool. It looks like it can get banged around a bit. The nice foam, that's cool. Um, let's take this guy out. All right, it's pretty heavy. It's actually kind of heavy. This guy is right here. Uh, set that one down. Looks like that's the up way to do it. That's pretty neat. And then let's see what's inside this. Obviously the controller, we'll get to that in a second. Uh, HDMI, ultra high speed HDMI. Not sure if you could see that, but I'm assuming that's because it's 4K. That's nice because a lot of times HDMI is, it gets, give you the cheaper stuff. It looks like, oh. So it doesn't have a power brick. That's awesome. Because the one that I have at my house is the Xbox One, the original Xbox One. That's the one I just kind of used. Uh, but here at Esports Arena, we don't use that one, but it's always had the power brick. And I've always had to find a spot for the power brick. So this is nice that the fact that they've moved away from the power brick, I don't know if that's original or not for the first one. And then just some uh, product and regulatory guides. So I think that is, let's get to the controller. No, 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 let's get to this. Let's get to the real deal. I like the size of this thing. Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> I'm assuming so. Oh, I did it right, because I can just do this cool unveiling. It is green on the top. See, but you can't even see that in the camera. It's it's like, you know, see that? So it's, it's painted green on like the inside of the vents. That's honestly pretty sick. I don't know if you can see it right there too, but that is, okay, so that's that's cool. I wonder if it does light up when you actually turn the thing on, which I believe embargo, based on our last conversation, you're not allowed to do that. So here it is, Series X, Xbox, all in its glory. Uh, it's actually not as heavy as I originally anticipated it was. I like just the, I love the simplicity of it. That's the best part, in my opinion, is just how simple it is. If you had this sitting in your house, you had a nice house, uh, entertainment center, you did, had no entertainment center, having this sit on a mantle, having this sit uh, pretty much anywhere in the entertainment center, I think would just look subtle. I love the simplicity of this design, and I like that green on the top too. So it looks like you could take, it's got rubber feet on the bottom and on the side, so you actually could have it sit like that on the entertainment center as well. That's, um, this, I, Compared to these other boxes that are around me right now, <laughs> this, is, this is, I'd say by far the best looking Xbox there is uh, that's been created. Uh, so that's pretty neat. It does have a disc slot, the wireless button right there for your controller. So I'm assuming the controller is come standard wireless, which is nice and that's a big old fan. Holy smokes, I wonder if that thing's pretty loud. I guess Xbox has been saying that their cooling technology in this Xbox is by far the best it's ever been. And I can tell because it's got a ceiling fan inside this thing. That's pretty neat. Uh, the back, 
looks like it's all your pretty standard stuff. Uh, let's see, we've got the storage expansion. Okay, that's pretty cool. Looks like it just takes a, a pretty slim SSD if you want to add more storage to it, HDMI out, power, Ethernet, so you can hardline this thing in there too, which is honestly, I think, better. Uh, using Wi-Fi can challenge it, but today's Wi-Fi is not too bad, but not every household has great Wi-Fi. And it looks like two USBs on the back. Uh, which is nice. And then a lock. Uh, probably to reset something, reset button. Uh, that's awesome. So we'll set that one up to the side. You can see that ceiling fan right there on the top too. I like that. I'm calling it a ceiling fan. Don't know if anyone else has done that in their unboxing, but I have. Okay. I don't really know why you'd go wrong or go away from the standard design of the Xbox controller, but I like it. it. Feels different. On the back, it's got a really nice texture to it on the back. I don't know if you get sweaty hands or not, but it maybe keeps it cooler on the back, but I like that texture on the back. It looks like the, uh, the sticks feel very similar to the old model. Uh, actually, I have those, that controller right here as well. So there's the old to the new. It's almost identical in a way. They've made some subtle changes to it. I like the fact that they've added this D-pad right here. They've added it to make it a bit more, if you like miss hit it, like here in the, on the sides, it actually looks, uh, it's, a, it's a little bit better than obviously this one because this is just the standard cross. They've made this one a circle. That's nice. The share button, this Xbox button right in the middle, it's different, so it's actually more seamless, just a part of it. They've kept it simple, and I think that's the way to go. Oh man, and well that's different too. Less of a click noise, which, that's all right. It does feel better, I will be honest. Oh my God, they did it. They finally did it. This is the old controller, micro USB. I have broken so many micro USBs with this controller. That's not to say that Xbox did that intentionally. That was what the technology was at the time. And USB-C is just so much better. It's faster. Uh, if they had a wireless charging one, which I don't believe this one does because they are, have kept it going with the battery pack. Uh, it, it, I, I would much rather just have to charge my controller all the time than actually feel like I need to uh, go get batteries. Um, who knows, they'll probably do a, an Elite controller or whatever that, that brings that uh, battery pack out. Obviously the weight's much better. I like the weight with the battery. We, uh, what I wanted to allude to was the fact that this D-pad is a little bit different. The Elite controller has that massive D-pad right there. Uh, looks like it's the same size as the standard controller uh, from the previous model, but this D-pad has that hybrid D-pad, which is really cool. So on the side, if you miss hit it, you still are hitting the buttons, which is neat, instead of just having that cross. So. Uh, pretty cool. It's like kind of a, alludes to the Elite controller, which is like 180, 200 bucks, and this comes standard with it. So they've, they've upgraded the controller to be a lot better. Uh, but USB-C, which is awesome for wired connection um, and ideally for charging, because then we're not breaking um, those USBs, micro USBs, like we were all the time. It looks like a, a, I don't know, like a small HDMI hookup to the bottom, something similar to the previous model. So we had to use that for comms. And it does have a, a 3.5 millimeter jack on the bottom. All in all, I love this controller. It feels really good. I've always loved the Xbox controller more so than um, other competitors out there. This just feels natural to me uh, when you're playing Halo. So all in all, I'm pumped. I'm excited. I think this looks pretty sick. What's that standard photo? Let me see here, see if we can mock that standard photo right here on camera. There you have it. <laughs> I think that looked pretty good. All in all, um, I gotta say, Xbox, Microsoft, you guys knocked it out of the park. Um, I'm going to power my dreams once I power this thing on. Uh, I got all the consoles here, all the generations here, and I think they have this tagline, it's like four generations in one console, and that's because of Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. Um, thank you, Microsoft, for sending this over to us. Uh, cannot wait to power it up and start playing on it. If you guys want to buy it, go to walmart.com slash esportsarena. 
to purchase it. It's only available on digital, uh, at least for the time being. So uh, take a look at that, but uh, great job. Xbox and Microsoft, I love it. Got all four consoles here. Uh, it's gonna be pretty awesome. So Tyler Andrews and Esports Arena signing off. Thanks for tuning in.